about to be made ghost skin. Might as well laugh while I still can. You can't avoid it, man. That's what you're meant to be. Well, who's to decide what I'm meant to be? Why does this guy get to decide whether I'm supposed to be happy or sad for the rest of my life? Because he's up there wearing the suit. I'm supposed to listen to him? What can you do there, man? Walk away? Yeah, not a chance, dude. Well, what are you scared of? I'm not scared of anything, huh? Just worried about getting caught. What do you know that we don't? Wouldn't believe me if I told you. They call it the Fields of Asphodel. Apparently there's a group of people living there free of judgment. Developing their own personalities and emotional capacity. So, do you know how to get there? Maybe I do. So you don't know? Well, we're gonna have to find out. But wait! We, you know, we, we might have a better chance if we like stay together, you know? Well, come on then. Follow me. Hey, can you guys play that? So, uh, does everyone here know each other? Well, why don't you introduce yourself first off, big man? Yeah, um, I'm Jay. This is my girlfriend, Kate. I'm Kim. Kate and I have grew up together. Sonda, my dear friends. Oh, uh, I'm Eddie. He's in the book of obscure sorrows. Well, my name is Zed. Hey, I have a question for you, Jay. If you were made, say, clockless, and Kate here was made into ghost bent, would you still stay with her? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. How would you know that? It's not gonna happen. Love is a grave thing. Love is the name that we've given to disorder. The primal urge to fulfill something in oneself that they lack. And you seem to be avoiding the question here, Jay. I mean, with that kind of physique and power, one would assume a sortation of clockless. But we can never really know. And we can't stay here either. We need to figure out whether these fields or whatever actually do exist. We can't all go though. Yeah, what if we all get caught? Well, I didn't come here to get caught. I'd rather die than be a part of this society. Yep, I'm out of here. Right, I'm going back to the sortation. But surely we can just explain that we went for a walk and we want to come back. You know what would happen if they caught you? It's worse than death. Hold on, hold on. I've heard that you can play these games. Well, they test your strength and your will. We can find the strongest among us here and sacrifice that one person to allow the rest of us to find refuge. What if they don't come back? Let me go back to the sortation. I'll do anything to avoid social suicide. Me too. Well, looks like it's our only hope.
not playing anymore. You want to go back and die? I'd rather do anything than stay here, playing these fucking games with you guys. No, you should go. It would take a true paragon to find the fields, so you are right to leave. Is anyone else coming? Well, I'm not going back now. Brave. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find this place. You're just gonna leave Kate here then? Are you serious? Look, <clears throat> I'll go. Remember this moment, friends. We'll call it the Sea Merchant. By the time the cigarette burns down, you'll know whether you have refuge or not. Fuck. This is fucked, alright? What were we thinking? I don't know. I guess we just got scared. Okay, I don't get scared, Kate. <laughs> Why didn't you just go then? Oh, I wasn't just going to leave you, was I? Y yes, you were. And you didn't even answer Zed's question, Jay. I was put on the spot, Kate. Okay, what did you want me to say? This is way fucking worse than the sortation now, isn't it? Well, you wouldn't be saying that if you were anticipating ghost bench. Uh, why do I always do that? What was that supposed to mean? I didn't make you come. You guys are just making it worse. When are you going to leave? Why are you still here? Yeah, you should have just left. Can you all just shut up? I get it now. Um, it's the story of a woman who gets cursed to live underwater. She burns a candle and waits for her landborn lover to come and save her, but he doesn't come in time. The candle burns out, signifying her death. He means by the time the cigarette burns out, we're going to know our fate. 